contact with Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? So, just arrived day, day before yesterday. I got used to the new time zone in Cambodia. Slept well, rested well. Ready for the challenges of the day, I think, or tomorrow. I'm going to meet some crew members um, later today, my key grip. And tomorrow I'm excited for leaving, starting the recce, uh, seeing all the beautiful locations I haven't seen yet, and exploring the visual side of the film. And yeah, getting it off the ground. So, um, what do you need? What do you? What do you? What do you? Uh, what do you need? Equipment? How is all that? What are your thoughts? Any concerns? It's just you know the one and a half weeks before shooting is always a kind of crunching time. Always tension builds up, nervosity comes, but in the end you know you're always kind of going to get what you need and can get started everything. Um, still a bit nervous about some of the locations, seeing them and hoping that I like them because we don't have very much time to change anything, so basically you have to go with what we have. But I think uh, so far what I've seen, um, Cambodia is going to give us some really, really great scenic landscapes and beautiful places to shoot the film at. Fantastic. Is there anything you need? Um, how, how do you want to? <coughs> how do you think you want to <coughs> run things out in your department? Is there anything you're, you're, you're needing in your department? You're still waiting on your equipment yeah. to arrive. Talk to me about that. <laughs> okay. So, a large bunch of equipment comes from Thailand because Cambodia doesn't have too many rental places. So it's still kind of exploring new ground in terms of filmmaking over here. I think it's a kind of pilot project for the country somehow. Um, so, since the equipment comes from Thailand, I'm a bit nervous about everything's going to be fine and uh, the equipment's going to work and, and, and everything's complete as a package because we don't have much time to react if something should be missing. So, I hope. Hmm? Yeah, that's the idea right now. We're working on getting somebody over to uh, check the gear so it can, you know, we can minimize the risk of something going wrong. But I'm, I'm actually, to be honest, because I've, I've shot two films in India. Um, it's a little similar. I worked on Slum Not Millionaire in India and I shot a TV movie, German big TV movie, event movie, uh, at the beginning of the year in Varanasi. Uh, uh, so I know kind of how Asian filmmaking is kind of uh, going to wind up and I know how to work with people, I know what to expect from crew and where to be careful. So generally I kind of feel prepared. If this was my first film in Asia, well, I'd probably be more worried. But I've been for the fire and hell of filmmaking. This is just a movie, it's not carrying cancer. Thank you very much, Stefan. Wonderful.